Hello y'all. Today we're going to talk about dividing polynomials and we're going to talk about dividing polynomials by binomials. So we'll talk about what it is and then we'll do a few practice problems. So when we divide by a binomial, it's very similar to long division. We're using long division, um, but we're going to look at that first term to take our first step. Okay, let's keep these things in mind. When we're doing basic steps of long division, we want to divide, multiply, subtract, and then divide again. Okay, and then the best way to represent our remainder is as a fraction, and we'll do that in our last problem. So here we go. Um, I encourage you guys to write along with me, um, or you can even pause it and then come back and play it again. Okay, so x squared minus x minus 12 is our dividend, and we're dividing this by x plus 3. So remember I said we want to take a look at that first term. All right, so x squared, let's divide that by x. x squared divided by x is x, because x times x is x squared. Okay? So now we're going to multiply. Let's multiply x times x, and then x times the second term, 3. All right, x times x is x squared. x times 3, we're going to have a positive 3x. All right, so now we're going to subtract, okay? And now if we're subtracting, I'm going to let y'all know that you can turn this to an addition problem if you change the sign of everything in parentheses here. So we can look at this as negative x plus negative 3x, which is negative 4x, and then x squared plus negative x squared. Well, those are opposites of each other, so they're gonna have zero there. Now let's bring down minus 12. Okay, just like before, we're going to divide negative 4x by x. So what can I multiply times x to get negative 4x? That would be negative 4. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. I'll say this. If your first term does not cancel out, then you might have done something wrong. <laughs> Again, if your first terms do not cancel out like this x squared, and um, x squared here, then it's you probably did something wrong. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our subtraction here. But I like to turn this into an addition problem because adding is so much more pleasing to me than subtraction. So I changed my sign uh, to my operation sign to addition, and I changed the signs of everything in parentheses. So now I have negative 12 plus positive 12, which is 0, and I have negative uh, 4 plus 4. Okay, those cancel out. That's 0. Oh, so there we go. Our quotient is x minus 4. All right, here's another problem. So our dividend is x squared minus 9x plus 7, and we're dividing by x minus 2. So looking at our first terms here, you have x squared and x. What can I get if I divide x squared by x? Well, y'all, that's going to be x. <laughs> x times x is x squared. And x times negative 2 is negative 2x. So remember what we did here. We multiplied. Oh, darn, it went away. <laughs> Let me rewrite it. Okay, I have it back now. So what we did is um, <laughs> we divided x squared by x and we got x. So now we're going to multiply. Then we multiply x times the first term x and got x squared. And then x times negative 2 and got negative 2x. So now we're going to subtract this polynomial. Okay. I'm going to turn this to an addition problem and my signs of everything inside. All right, so we have negative 9x plus positive 2x. So that's going to be negative 7x. 
Okay, and our first terms cancel out. x squared plus negative x squared, that's 0. We can bring down our last term here, 7. What do we multiply times x to get negative 7x? Okay, that was going to give us negative 7. All right, so negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14. Okay, so now we want to subtract this polynomial. I'm going to turn it to an addition problem and change the signs of everything inside the parentheses. All right, so positive 7 plus negative 14 is going to give us negative 7. And our first terms cancel out. So here we have that remainder of negative 7. So we represent our remainder as a fraction, where negative 7 is the numerator and our denominator is our divisor. x minus 2. Okay, I'm going to put on here the rest of the quotient, x minus 7. And we're going to add that remainder. And you also can write this more simply, x minus 7 minus 7 over x minus 2. Mm -hmm. So either one of these, but this is the more simpler version.